Hello there YouTube, it's Nathan back with you. So today I'm going to be kind of restoring a old table and kind of making it new. So I guess I'm, I guess we'll just call it like making a coffee table. So anyhow, I was out and about and I picked up this table at somebody's garbage and it's like an old 70s kind of look table except for the top is a little bit scrapped and I'm gonna try and replace the top and maybe clean up the legs so there's the top you can see it's kind of pulled up a little bit anyhow it was left out in the rain which is a real shame not a big deal though and the legs are not very bad of shape, but luckily it just screws into it. So I'm going to unscrew the top, and then I will give it the legs a good sand, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do for the top. And with that now detached, detached, I guess the top taken off. I'll try it that way. That sounds nicer. <laughs> We're going to take these legs and this frame outside and we're going to give it a really good sand just to get all the old remnants. Like you can see, there's a lot of wear and tear. I'm just going to see if I can start fresh with this thing. And now that that's done, let's give it a real good sand. Just to get all the old remnants off, then that way we can start fresh with this thing. So guys, I think that turned out really, really good after that sand. Just got away all the old nooks and crannies off of it, and I got rid of the old stain. Well, at least most of it. I'm not so worried about the inside, just the outside. Now, look at that, look at all the snow. It's like minus 16 out. But this Chewbacca sweater is awesome. So now that that's done, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to dismantle a skid or pallet, whatever you want to call it. And I think we're going to make a new tabletop going along this. And the room it'll be going into is a very warm colored wood. So I might not even put a stain on it. I might just put the gloss and let the natural wood seep through. See how that looks. If not, you can always sand it back. But anyhow, let's go inside and I'll show you quickly what I'm going to do. So basically, all I'm going to do for this round is put each of the boards. I'm just going to slide that in at each of the each of the two by two by fours that are holding it together. Just bang down. Take my time with it break all the nails that heads off now there is many other different ways you can do this i mean you can use a sawzall um now granted the way i'm doing it it's probably a little bit safer to do it the other ways but i just find i find for me personally i find i have an easier time with this just banging the crap out of it but there is the risk that i could split the board doing that which is why you got to take your time with it so anyhow, guys, I will see you once I got all these boards off. So now that that is done, guys, you can see I just bashed them off. 
Um, it took a little bit longer than I was figuring. And you can actually see along the ends, I just grabbed my circular saw and just, just grind it, and it's okay. Might have killed the saw, but that's okay. Now, what I gotta do now is I gotta bang the nails out next. And then once that is done, I think I should probably give it a good clean cut all along the edges. As you can see, especially this one here, look at how much that separates. Yeah, that's too much, way, way too much. I don't mind a little, but that's way too much. Okay, so now that I've got them all denailed, and back outside again, I'm crazy. No, so now that they're all denailed, we're just gonna, along the sides, we're gonna slice off just like maybe a blade's width just to clean up the edge. So that way it looks a little bit more like this one. As you can see, it's much more nicer. It's going to make it just that much more easier with the router table. So once I got all those sides cut, I glued them all together with some woodworker's glue. And I've just got them all clamped down and I've got these 20 pound weights on it just to keep it from buckling up. And we'll come back to it within 24 hours and we'll see what's what then. So now that we have this completely glued together, you can see, it's all one, it's good. Now, one thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna shave off just along the edge here on both sides. Just give it a nice clean cut all the way down each side. Um, and then once that's done, then we're gonna take it out to the router table and we're gonna give it a really nice looking edge and then we'll sand it all up. And with the ends now cut, now let's head to the router table. And now that we got a really nice edge going on it, now let's just sand it. So now that we are back inside, and thank goodness for it because it is freezing outside, um, we're going to attach the base with the legs to the tabletop now. Everything's been sanded, so literally all we have to do is attach that, and then we're going to make the decision on either gloss or stain and gloss. <laughs> So now that we've got this thing back in, it's assembled, let's just apply. I decided to go with some yeah, golden oak stain. And then that way, let that get on, let it soak in and dry, and then we'll put on some gloss. And we'll see how that looks. Make sure also... If you're doing this inside, make sure you lay out like a tarp or even some old raggy towels and make sure you put on some painter's clothes or painting clothes. <laughs> Thank 
Cappuccini Quel cappello leggero galante Quella chioma, quell'aria brillante Quel vermiglio donesco color Quel vermiglio donesco color Non più fray, quel pena chi Okay, so guys, now that we are done putting the stain on, we are going to put some of this gloss on, which I think is amazing. P.S. I did put the stain on the underside, I know I didn't show you. It's going to be the same thing with the gloss, I'm just showing you the top. The underside is kind of a pain. Was fun and I'm glad that we're done painting now because it looks absolutely amazing. We're gonna show you all in just a second. Look at that behind me. There's my cat Yinko. Just wanted to tell you all. But anyhow, anyhow, right at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you all a bunch of pictures of it kind of spinning around doing weird stuff. It looks absolutely amazing. The t the coffee table, it looks just unbelievable. I couldn't have turned out any better. And that's why it's always important that you can always recycle things like an old coffee table left out in the rain. Alright, well, I hope that you all have an absolutely wonderful day. And if you've made it this far through the video, please hit that like button for more content. And please hit that subscribe button for more content as well. Leave a comment down below. I'll, I'd love to answer to any of the comments. Alright, well, I think I'm going to go make a cup of coffee. So until next time, I'll see ya.